Friends, hello again. Uh, let me correct the mistake I made last time. I conflated local drawdown with global drawdown. So I'm going to delete the piece on YouTube, that segment, and uh, redo the drawdown here. Where is the maximum drawdown? Say this is time, and this is the value. I have a security going from small t, small period small t, to big cap t. It goes like this. Okay. What is the maximum drawdown over that period? So you have five years, cap t minus small t. You take every point and look at the lowest subsequent point and measure that as a drawdown. This is a drawdown, the maximum up to that period. Well, this is a bigger drawdown. This is a smaller drawdown. That one to that one, okay? So that's how you measure it. Easy, not, not so. There's an additional problem. You cannot use percentages. You can't. Why? Let me explain. You gotta use logarithms. When you talk drawdown, numbers are big. Visibly, you're looking for the biggest numbers. So you're gonna use, if you use percentage, you're gonna be confusing yourself. Why? Let's say a stock trades at 100. It goes to 200. Great returns, 100%. And then goes back down to what? 100. That went down only 50%. You see, they're not additive. And this went down 100%, go to zero. So you start with 100, ends up at zero with flat returns? No. You cannot add up percentages or compare them. What do you do? Use logs. Use logs. Use log of st, say, s0. And that gives you the return. Why? Well, very, let me explain. <laughs> okay. Uh, why do we need to use log? And why the log is so natural here? Let's say I take a regular compounding model, st equal a zero, one plus r t, t being time, okay? To get a continuous return, divide this by n, multiply this by n, okay? And take this to the limit, limit, as n goes to infinity of 1 plus r divided by n and t equals e r t exponential so here i'm going to have st over s0 equals e r t the return over the number of periods if i log this to the left, I get R T. You remove the T or normalize by the T, and you end up having this as a thing under consideration. Summarize maximum drawdown is the biggest drop you have. From a, you take a lot every hill, and the biggest drop after that, and that gives you the riskiness of the security. So if someone invested in gold, for example, 1980, they would have had something like a huge, maybe 80% drawdown in log. Huge. Okay, and so it's not a good idea to invest in a security that can have 80% drawdown, <laughs> unless you you know you know the risk, but it's a risky security. It's not a numerator or a base currency. This is what, why gold to me is not a real currency. <laughs> That's the first point.
maximum drawdown over a certain period. So if you take five years, of course, you can compare securities over five year periods. A 10 year drawdown is necessarily going to be equal or longer or bigger, or larger. So that's the first. Second point use logarithm. Log of a number divided by another number. And that gives you a more adequate return, and these will be additive. Thank you very much, and have an excellent day. Bye now.